New business? Here are the six financial apps you need. Well, they're not all exactly financial, but these are the six apps that I think need to that I think every business should be using as an ecosystem to build things up from the financial and everywhere around. In order to get a business up and running, we need accounting software. So of course that's the core financial app, and as always, I'm recommending QuickBooks Online. Then we need a system to manage our documents and other things that go with that, email and such. So we, I, I have G Suite for that. We need project management. We're going to look at Smartsheet. Uh, we need video web conferencing software, especially these days. We're working with people who are all over the place. Sometimes our own employees are remote, and we want a way that we can video chat with them and, of course, share screens very easily and even record the sessions so that we can really document what we've done, what we talked about, what we discussed, and, of course, having those videos of those sessions become an important training tool in many cases, especially if somebody did share their screen and demonstrate how to do something. Um, then, of course, we need a CRM and we need scheduling software. There's too much emailing back and forth trying to make appointments with people. So let's take a look at what it looks like when you have a really good ecosystem in place. We're going to start with QuickBooks Online. I'm going to go over to Sales and then Customers. And I'm going to go to John Ferrara because I've got a project I'm working on for John Ferrara and I need to send him an invoice. So what I realize as I get in here though is I don't have his contact information in here yet. But not to worry, let's go to create the invoice and then I'm going to turn on my Nimble CRM widget. And I'm going to wait for it to load up and initially it recognizes that I'm on an Intuit.com URL so I actually get information about Intuit. But as soon as I click and drag and highlight John's name, and sometimes you need to do it twice to get it to read you, it comes up with John Ferrara's information. Now he's a contact that I have in Nimble and I've got all his information here. My preference workflow wise at this point is to click on his name. So now I can quickly get in here and I can edit all his information. Not that I want to edit it here, but getting into the edit mode makes it much easier to copy and paste. So I can grab his address right here and I can paste it in. And at this point, it's easier to type it probably than copy and paste it, uh, except that I don't remember the zip. There it is. So when you're using cloud-based software, look how easy it is to have my CRM kind of right alongside whatever application I'm using because they're both cloud-based. It makes it really easy. It's almost as though Nimble was integrated with QuickBooks. It's not. It's integrated with Chrome, which is where I'm running QuickBooks, right? So Nimble is really, really smart this way. Uh, now let's get the invoice done for the accounting services because we've got some more work to do. And let's say I'm invoicing John $4,500. But I also know that John is very particular about how he needs the invoice description uh, written up so that he can get it routed for efficient, quick payment processing, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit save and, sh and share link over here. And once I've got that, I'm going to copy this link. We're going to jump into Smartsheet now, which is our project management tool. And I'm going to say invoice number 1004, please review. But now I'm going to click on the attachment feature in Smartsheet. And we're going to attach the link or URL, paste it in there. I'll just title it invoice 1004. Click OK. Click close. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to say I need this handled today. I'm going to assign it, in this case, not actually to John. Normally, of course, it would be. I'm going to assign it to this version of myself. This is my personal email address so that I can demonstrate for you what this really all looks like. If I send it to John, I'm probably going to get an interesting email from him wondering what I'm actually doing here. Uh, so we're going to save that. And the invoice itself, of course, we're going to want to make sure that this is going to Seth at SethDavid.com so that, again, I don't actually confuse John here. And I'm going to save that. And for now, let's go check in on the email and see if it came yet. It may take a minute. But I'm going to need to get two emails here. One that Smartsheet is going to send because it's going to alert me to the fact that something's been assigned to me in Smartsheet. I've created an alert based on that. It says, whenever the assigned to field changes, send an email to the assigned to person right away. Smartsheet is brilliant this way. So sometimes it'll take a couple of minutes for that to process. And then I've got a live copy of the invoice, mind you, right here. Let's bring that up. So this is what John's going to be able to click over to from within Smartsheet, and he's also going to get the email for it. Now let's say I want to attach my proposal. My proposal is right here in Google Suite or G Suite, right? So again, Docs, G Suite, everything's right here. Everything's in the cloud. You may want to get a link shortener on that. So let's just quickly 
go over here to my bookmarks bar. Really, really important to uh, organize your bookmarks well. And let's paste that long URL in here, copy it, and let's put that right on the invoice. Uh, see link here for proposal. And we'll paste that in. And I've learned this the hard way a couple times already. I did close the, uh, if you have that uh, live link open, you get this message. Uh, even though I had closed it, but I think I closed it while this was still open, so I'm going to have to leave without saving. Let's go back in and edit the invoice. And let's actually put it here. See proposal here. I've still got that short link there. Save it. Continue. Now the next time John comes in and clicks over on this link from Smartsheet, he's going to get the updated version of the same invoice. Notice I didn't have to reattach anything, right? Really easy, and now it's got my proposal link right there so that John can easily and quickly click over and review the proposal. What's more is that John can also now come in here to Smartsheet and post a comment and say, please add the following description, right? Could be any number of things, could be a project number, PO number, anything he wants me to add, he can just comment in here and if I could type properly, dot, 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 post. Now I'll get notified from Smartsheet within the hour that he's made a change here. That's another alert that I've created in Smartsheet. When anything changes, let me or Erica know once an hour. Erica, of course, works with me. So I like her getting notified about these things. So we can get in here, we can copy and paste his description into the updated invoice, and then we can, you know, we can basically kick it back to John at that point for him to review. Here's the notifications. We've now gotten the updated notification here. Please review. So that did happen. Now, the last piece to this, really, because we've looked at QuickBooks Online, we've looked at how we've got the proposal in G Suite and how easy that is to link over. Right? We've looked at Smartsheet that we're using for project management. We've looked at Nimble CRM. Now there's two more things we want to do. We want to schedule an appointment with John so that we can review this stuff together and get any questions answered. So that's going to be done here with Schedule Once. Notice again the bookmarks. I have scheduling. And I have some basic links in here that are important to me, including a 30-minute call. So all I have to do is copy this and email the link to John and say, John, please use this link to schedule an appointment with me. And once he does that, I can go into my Zoom software and I can click schedule here. Based on whatever date he's chosen, I can choose the same date here and say, okay, we're going to meet Monday. I'm going to click schedule. It's going to come in here and it's actually going to drop all the information right into the calendar appointment where I can say, let's add John Ferrara. There he is, and invite John into this meeting so that we can have our conference call, our video conference, and review everything there is to review to make sure that we're on the same page about everything. This is an ecosystem, my friends. This is how I've used six applications inside of less than 10 minutes to complete a process, to work on a proposal, to get that proposal out to my client, to invoice my client for the proposal. Anything we need to do is so much easier to do when we're using these kinds of applications that all live in the cloud that run right alongside whatever other applications we're using so that I can get my work done quickly and efficiently. So they're not exactly six financial apps that you need to start a business, but I think these are six core applications that you can and in my opinion should be using when you're starting your business because you can get all these kinds of things done efficiently. This is what you can use to create the ecosystem that you can work in to get your business up and running off the ground and manage everything that you need to manage from your accounting to your project management to your CRM, to your web conferencing, and of course, your scheduling. That, my friends, are what I recommend for a new business with six applications that you need. As always, I hope you learned something here and had some fun along the way. I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day, and I look forward to seeing you on the web.